Fran here from Cape Cacao. Today I've just come up from that mountain with my big backpack. I've just finished a cacao ritual. Anybody wanting to deepen their practice with cacao, I highly recommend getting into nature. Now you don't have to climb a big mountain like I've just done now. I personally enjoy that. But if you have access to a more balanced ecosystem, natural ecosystem, then I highly recommend making your cacao, put it in a thermos flask, pack your ritual kit, pack some warm things if you live in a cold climate and actually get outside. If you don't have a natural wilder environment available to you, get onto the grass. If you can find some in a park or your garden, get to the beach, get to the side of a stream, just anywhere where there is nature. And the more in balance, the better. I know that's not available to everybody and every place on the planet at the moment. Um, the reason being is that this is where we remember the embodiment of the elements and we can know it in theory by learning and doing our own practices in a confined space at home but out in nature remember the cycles remember that there is wind and what that feels like remember what the sun feels like on our skin remember what it is like to be cold or to be hot to be hungry to be thirsty and this is so important in the embodied approach to the work we do with any plant medicine and with cacao, it helps us connect deeper, deeper, deeper.